there, General Techno here with yet another video review. This time it's Transformers Universe Ravage. Ravage is everyone's favorite Beast Wars slash G1 character, and he's recreated in his G1 form, a cassette tape. As you can see, it looks a lot like a cassette. It's got the cassette holes, it's got the square shape. Here he is next to his G1 counterpart of Ravage. He lacks all the cassette detailing. And if you line them up, you can actually see that the cassette holes are in different places slightly. He's got the cassette holes slightly further out than uh, the original Ravages. But together, they don't look too, too bad. I'm just going to show off the gimmick with the cassette mode. This new Ravage is able to fit in Soundwave. I put him in, presto, he fits, take him out, and since this sound wave can hold two cassettes, I'll just show that you can still put both Ravages in this guy, or at least in theory you can, since they're the same width, but... Well, it looks like I'm kind of mistaken that Ravage doesn't want to fit in to the double cassette of the original sound wave. Although it looks like he will fit in uh, the G1 sound wave based on his size. It doesn't look like that I can get two cassettes in the original. Which is not what I expected, but I will. Anyway, to transform everyone's favorite kitty, we're going to start by pulling the legs out here, pulling them out like this, the hind ones. Then we take the head Pull it up, put it over there. Four front legs here are going to come out, and we're going to fold the hind legs back as we pull the front legs forward. Hind legs are going to clip together, not before we pull the tail out. And we're just going to adjust the tail, adjust the feet. At this point, it's just all adjusting. Adjust the head, and presto. It's Ravage Reborn. Just to bring him closer, you can see his head is has the red eye that he had in the show. And yeah, he's got a uh, 3D proportions, unlike the original. Well, I'm just going to eject from Soundwave and very quickly transform, just to compare. So anyway, just comparing the two Ravages, you can see that this one's slightly bigger than the new Ravage, but the big difference is this one is three-dimensional, whereas the original Ravage is not. This one's got actual legs and a head placed in the right spots. The tail sticks off up a bit. Posability-wise, he's more limited than the original, actually. The head goes up and down, the tail goes up, which you really don't want to do, and down a bit. Hind legs move, and he moves at the knees in all four locations. So he's capable of some poses, but this one actually has more posability in that the tail moves, head moves, and the feet move as well as the knees. One last really neat feature that this guy has is that he supports the G1 Ravages guns. The peg holes are about the same size, so you can comfortably plug in G1 Ravages missile weapons. And presto, you have a now complete uh, upgrade of Ravage. He does have some molded missile detail over here, as you can see, but it's not painted or anything. I'm going to have to decide if I want to leave these missiles in him or try painting those silver. But either way, here he is. Transformers Universe Ravage. He also comes with a little, neat little accessory. Just, uh, you know, just a bit of a chunk of plastic here. You know, I could probably toss this way or something. But anyway, yeah. Transformers Universe Ravage. Get him. And if you happen to like his accessory, hey, all the power to you.